we will understand today what is fma one example we can take fma means failure mode effect analysis and this is one tool where we understand or imagine the possibility of various failures and then what action the causes and effect and then you have to uh, step by step you have to derive the rpn number that's the risk priority number we'll take one example of a component say brake tube so fma when you are doing fma one we can say one table is there so first left side you are specifying the problem so what is the problem brake tube failure for example okay then next column what will be there what are the various reasons of that failure okay brake tube failure why why this problem is there so there are many reasons which are those reasons like maybe a wrong material selection or wrong material is used another will be a pressure or whatever it may that means so many things are there so all these reasons you have to mention then the next column what will be there what is the effect what is the effect of that failure means now brake system braking system it's a safety related system right so as per that you have to mention what will happen got this now rpn number how what is rpn number that is risk priority number okay risk priority number means uh, some value is derived suppose if risk priority number is 100 then you have to go for again redesigning of the product or component or even one area is 10 then also you have to go for a redesigning of the product so one is that what is the severity severity means c if brake failure is there there is a possibility of accident right so severity is very very high so the number will be there 10 so if accident is there that means number 10 for example brake tube failure is there so what is the problem there oil leakage is there and uh, functioning is not proper means you are applying the brake but that performance is not there now the severity is low okay maybe 9 8 like that and some failures are there where there will be some noise okay then it will be say 3 or 2 sometimes customer dissatisfaction is there it can be like 3 or 2 and sometimes okay the uh, effect of that it will be very small or negligible that will be one so got this severity means one means uh, we can say discomfort or like that and 10 means accident it is a question of life so as per that you have to define the severity got this and you can do that we know that we, how severity is there means uh, like today's situation if we understand some patient corona patient is there so if he, he is uh, or she is in uh, home isolation that means severity is less right but uh, that number is there no i don't know about that some number is there so that means if hospitalization is required that means severity is higher maybe 5 or 6 and if the number is i think beyond 15 or something then you need oxygen and something like that right so that severity is very high 9 8 9 got this same thing when you are designing when the failure is there means you are imagining that this is a failure these are the various reason and what are those effects as per that you have to give the severity then next is occurrences so first is severity column second is occurrences occurrences means how many times this happens every month one meeting was there that was a warranty failure meeting and what was that r and d engineer purchase engineer quality engineer production engineer service engineer he is the most important person as far as failure failures are concerned so they meet every month one one day and warranty meeting means all the failed components problems are there suppose bearing failure is there that will be uh, there uh, in that room 
and all the failed parts are there and one by one we used to understand what is the problem why this is happening and sometimes what happens the problem suppose some failure is there shaft failure is there so what is the reason of that shaft failure maybe first what we do is it because of that quality issue means dimensional inspection report we check then material because it's a traceability traceability means if some failure is there on the vehicle that traceability is there okay and it is kept up to suppliers level also traceability is there means i can give one example suppose uh this is one cap okay and suppose some problem is there with the cap and this is a failed component and we are going for the analysis why the problem is there so one thing is that dimensional problem is there another material problem is there one more is that the hardness problem will be there right sometimes the problem could be a misuse means it is not used properly then we will ask the supplier so supplier will come now he is having all the data means when he is supplying that component so in the die set or tool set there is a traceability or on the compound also you must have seen some numbers are given like date of manufacturing is there die set number is there so from that date of manufacturing that supplier can understand uh, who was there uh, who was this uh, production in charge that day who was the operator which was the die set die set means suppose this component you are producing lakhs of components so there is a possibility that there will be 3 4 dies at a time you are doing production so die set 1 2 3 4 which is that die set from that this component is produced that level traceability is also there so who did that inspection material inspection so all these things can be checked and in that warranty meeting we were understanding what is the problem what this so here the service engineer will give you that occurrence list means if you ask any service engineer person give me top 10 failures this month of a particular vehicle he is having that list ready list and most of the failures in the vehicle like bearing failure shaft failure gasket failure these are the various failures most of the atoms failed atoms and from that when you are going for the next part that occurrences again there is a chart available so this is one part so occurrences is second column got this so how to define occurrences suppose you are you have your car and some problem is there you are going to the dealer maybe for during servicing you are saying that i am having this problem now he is asking okay how many times you face this problem so he is understanding that occurrence part so the service engineer is having this knowledge so say one in 10 vehicle occurrences very high that means 10 you will give that ranking 10 right occurrences say one in 100 it will be say 9 one in 1000 it will be 8 like that one in 10000 it will be say 5 or 2 uh, 5 or 4 like that one in 1 lakh hardly one number that number will be one so even though if the failure is one in 10 that means the ranking is 10 that means you have to redesign the product got this so one column we understood that is about the occurrences and before that we understood about the severity then the third column is there that is design control design control means what when you create your design and when the problem is there why this problem is there because of what which parameters if your drawing or design is having that clarity that means you have better control on the design got this point means when your design is in a such a way that if some problem is there it is because of this parameter if this can be detected from the design that means you have better control on the design so in that case the level will be 1 or 2 got this point but if some failure is there and we don't know why this is happening in the drawing nothing is specified 
the value will be 10 that means there is no control on design and even if this value is also 10 again you have to go for redesigning of the product got this so three important columns one is severity second is occurrences and third is design control and whatever is the value when you multiply that three values if it is beyond 100 then also you have to redesign the product so this is one exercise of fmea got this now in that also i told you as per the effects again different different rpn numbers will be there so design control is very very important